like i interviewed for around 30 40 companies you interviewed basically. like not applied interview yeah yeah interviewed so i got a lot of interviews like uh, basically based on the resume so i did a few uh, to exchange show, show me what like, uh, did you make it took 30 getting 30 interviews i'll i'll show you everything so i a friend told me about something called as react i didn't even know what that was and got into coding learned a lot learned about react and javascript i bought a first code and like uh, got to learn a lot and basically i got promoted in my company so i went from junior engineer starting out and went to a senior engineer in less than around 2 years or so it was a long time at this company and i thought like uh, i was saturating at a point uh, in terms of learning so i thought maybe I'd go out and uh, hunt for a job so i went out and like thanks to your uh, learning so i got around 5 offers start from your first internship you mentioned it was probably some local internship in pune so how much were they paying were you liking it why did you leave it in 3 months yeah so uh, my first internship they were paying around 10k considering you have interviewed at 30 companies can you give a tldr what do you think most of them are asking is it dsa is it projects is it development java questions javascript questions Hello everyone and welcome to a new podcast. Today we have Karthik. Karthik has an interesting journey. This is the kind of developer you want to strive to be where you know you have in this market four or five offers because when you're on that side of the spectrum then you can negotiate really well if you you know can crack such offers. So that is his journey. BTech in mechanical so no computer science degree as such uh, but he has been fairly consistent in his learning. He'll share more about this without any further ado. Karthik, can you give us a brief introduction? Hey, hi Arjun. Not like First of all uh, thank you for having me in this podcast and like to be honest i have manifested this moment for a long time like from the time you dropped that two lead code clone videos on youtube and then launching your cohort mm-hmm. one so like i have been following you for that long so yeah thank you for having me and i am karthik and i am from nagpur and i like did my btech in mechanical engineering from manipal university jaipur and basically it was mechanical engineering so yeah i didn't get uh, much experience in it and after that like uh, a friend told me about something called as react i didn't even know what that was and got into coding learned a lot and like basically learned about react and javascript and i was able like fortunate enough to land a first internship in a company in pune so basically they hired me based on my attitude for learning etc but like and i did a lot of learning there and for i did my internship for around 3 months or so and after that uh, i came back to nagpur and got an full time offer like as a full stack developer in an ai startup so basically i was there for around 2 years and did a lot of learning there so between these journeys so a lot of things happened so basically i bought your code so the first code i was a uh, among the few students to buy it like very really quickly so i thought that would re- uh, reap great rewards and it has indeed so that has been an amazing uh, like learning for me and i bought a first code and like uh, got to learn a lot and basically i got promoted in my company so i went from junior engineer starting out and went to a senior engineer in less than around 2 years or so and i was basically uh, contributing to everything like from uh, front end to back end and like i have also learned python in the in between and i was contributing to generative ai project uh, projects etc and like database optimizations etc devops etc i was doing it also basically learned it from code and after that you launched uh, like cohort 1 200 i guess so i bought that also and like that has been also an amazing journey and so since like it was a long time at this company and i thought like uh, i was saturating at a point uh, in terms of learning so i thought maybe i go out and uh, hunt for a job so i went out and like thanks to your uh, learning so i got around five offers and basically it was basically it was for around 150 to 200% hike on my current ctc so that was an amazing journey and So basically, I am currently I am learning Web three, etc., and like working at a startup. So it's a basically a fintech startup. All right, super interesting journey, quite a long one. Uh, so let's start from the top. Let's start mm-hmm. from your first internship. Uh, 
you mentioned it was probably some local internship in pune so how much were they paying were you liking it why did you leave it in 3 months yeah so uh, my first internship they were paying around 10k okay. so i landed it after college and basically i was not searching for a tech internship i was more into business consulting and all that but uh, once my friend uh, like suggested me there was something called as mm-hmm. react i didn't even know that what that was and i got into coding and learned it and basically i got the first mm-hmm. internship so that was more of a front end kind of role and they hired me because of the attitude and all so it was a small paid internship but i got uh, some amazing in, uh, senior developers so i got to learn a lot there and basically i thought this was a very small company let's try out uh, something big and let's explore the new markets in the ai etc so this was around 2022 mm-hmm. start so i thought of switching and got into uh, ai company and so 2022 ai company let's say work there whatever then you uh, recently interviewed at i would assume more than five companies con- considering you got you know uh, offers from five companies so could you talk about the interview process what kind of companies these were how did you find them how did you get the interview yeah so like i interviewed for around 30 40 companies you interviewed basically. like not applied interview yeah yeah interviewed so i got a lot of interviews like uh, basically based on the resume so i did a few uh, two weeks here show, show me what like, tweets uh, did you made 8 30 getting 30 interviews is i'll i'll show you great. everything yeah. so i'll yeah so uh, what so i had a pretty basic resume mm-hmm. at first and i kept on learning and adding skills in that so uh, it was basically skill stacking and mm-hmm. resumes and putting a few projects here and there and basically in the previous company i had worked on lot of generative mm-hmm. ai things and i have built a lot of pocs there so there were so they were solving a pretty good problem there so i have mentioned those in resumes and like what they were solving so uh, tweaking these few things like uh, got me uh, like lot of interviews there so basically i was uh, searching from linkedin and like well found twitter mm-hmm. etc so i think i got the most hits from well found side mm-hmm. only and like few from linkedin got it very yeah. cool well found usually is very cluttered what were these companies are these remote companies indian companies so they were a mix of all so few were ai startups so they were looking to hire full stack engineers who has context mm-hmm. of ai so like in generative ai things and other were basically just full stack companies so from india and from remote Correct. also it makes sense and what you considering you have interviewed at 30 companies uh, can you give a tldr ke what do you think most of them are asking is it dsa is it projects is it development java questions javascript questions they were asking a little bit of dsa so those are ba- very basic dsa like uh, for the first round they were asking dsa but those were pretty basic and after that most of them were diving into the concepts of nodes js etc and once like you showcase things in your resume so they were going there and like asking uh, in deep the projects you did and the problems you solved etc so most of them were interested in that part only and like few asked system designs so basically they gave an example and told me to design a system and like but most of them were aligned to resumes things only so basically asking questions and why did you do this mm-hmm. not this so th- those kind of questions correct makes a lot of sense um and what else uh, you said you in the end got five offers so were they all together were you sort of you know offer shopping for a while so uh, these five offers i got in a span of around one okay. month so yeah so few were product based companies uh, uh, one of them i think was service based mm-hmm. company so f- i got the first offer and i so i thought if i can get this i can get even mm-hmm. better so basically i was searching for a better mm-hmm. product and a better offer so i kept on it for a long time and uh, eventually got i was fortunate enough to get this got it you said you got like 200% or something hike so did they not ask you how much you were making before uh, why do you think they agreed so they asked and like a uh, few of them were reluctant to give this kind of uh, mm-hmm. jump but basically they were 
so i was not getting enough in the previous company mm-hmm. let's say so because uh, i have left at a point uh, where the appraisals was supposed right. to happen but i left it before that only so yeah so few of them were elected in that but i didn't uh, like i have moved on from them so i took another offer right. so, makes yeah. sense uh, cool did you ever negotiate at all or you know whatever you asked they gave you immediately the current company no no i had to go through a lot of negotiation okay. so uh year and there i negotiated okay, a lot okay got it makes sense Okay. Uh, great. Can you show the resume? Can you show me the changes that you made, and what does the resume look like? Yeah, let me find the resume actually. So this was a template I got from Overleaf. Okay. And basically, these are the skills I mentioned. Nice. And like the work ex. So basically, these were the few problems I solved uh, in my previous mm-hmm. company. So these were uh, like they were impressed by these things, and basically, yeah. few problems here and there and these were my educations and projects uh this <coughs> this is conflict deployment so basically versal clone kind mm-hmm. of thing and a lead code clone nice. and i had a lot of certification so i like uh, whenever i get time i try to learn mm-hmm. something so as you can see i have a lot of ai certifications mm-hmm. also and like a uh, code thing and etc makes sense Do you yeah. think these help sort putting certifications in the resume? Probably the AI ones help. Uh, Deep learning or AI is probably a good certification to do. Yeah, yeah, I I don't know for sure, but they might help. I don't right. know. Makes sense. Uh, so basically, I, what I saw was they were interested in more interest in this section. So basically, what did you do in the previous company, mm-hmm. and how impactful that was? So if you can show that, so I think. that was uh, that was most impressive for me makes sense very cool man and so this is uh, the the present so your current company is it remote is it on site no so it's on site it's in oh, pune and basically a fintech company got it very cool cool man that's all the questions i had do you have any questions for me yeah basically so i had one question so uh, i always thought about this here and there so are uh, you told like you always say that uh, one should go into a niche technology and learn to like get a specific knowledge to grow in these kind of markets so uh, like i had a big confusion in this so basically should one go into a niche technology and learn this or basically uh, like be a master of all and like should be able to do everything from full stack devops etc yeah it depends uh, depends on how so this will only happen if you are really interested in a technology like for example ai today if someone is a specialist in ai they don't need to be anything else uh, you know um, they will get hired somewhere um, versus uh, you know a person who knows a little bit of ai a little bit of one stack is probably harder to hire for so if what you are optimizing for is getting a job as quickly as possible doesn't matter the package then you go for you know being the master of everything because you can throw out more darts some companies hiring devops engineers some is hiring man some is hiring front end only react so you know if you know everything you can interview everywhere for an average package then if you want can i number one i am very interested in the technology number two i do want you know outsized offers whatever that might be 50 lakh plus let's say um from india remotely in a us based company then some level of niche would help now niche is a very broad term um you know web3 is a niche ai is a niche web webrtc is a niche but you know this can be anything that's hard to hire for one good example is someone who's really good at design and really good at development it's a very polished skill that you know takes away the job of two people engineer also designer also so that also might be something mm-hmm. that someone would be paying willing to pay a lot for so the you know sweet spot is being someone that's uh, knowing some technology that not a lot of people know then you know you can whenever you interview they would really want you and hence you know you can uh, negotiate better okay step one is finding a niche what do you like hmm. so like exploring a lot of things like and then yeah Yeah, and a lot, a lot of times, you know, for example, one niche is growing very quickly. Then, you know, even if you don't like it, you just go all in on it. For example, you know, whatever AI is a niche today. Maybe two years ago, WebRTC was that niche. Okay, you know, there are like outsized funding here. Not a lot of people know WebRTC. So, if I know it, you know, I'll get outsized outcomes. So, doesn't necessarily have to be out of interest. You can always build interest in a technology. Um, the key thing is, okay, you know, following that market really quickly and becoming one of the best at it. Uh, how do you know you're the best at it? You know. you'll find contributors in core libraries are very less usually uh, so there is a 
AI framework. Go to the contributors list there. Find the top contributors. Um, you'll see they'll be working, you know, some big company only, and most probably their offer will be really high. So how can you become one of those top okay. contributors? Uh, that's really the metric to follow. These were all the questions. So, like so that was it. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.